guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have Miss Juliet. Hello. And Miss Sydney is behind the camera recording. Hello. <laughs> and Mr. Roy will not be in this video because he is actually doing a live today on TikTok. So if you guys want to go follow here, him, here, 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 here. it's DJ Tone City and he does go live DJing almost every night. So with that being said, we're going to get to this video and the things you're going to need. So of course, it is an edible arrangement. So we do need strawberries, grapes, melons, pineapples. We also need white chocolate. I'm going to use pink candy melt yellow candy melt, our cute little gnome from the Dollar 25 tree, our little pet bucket, our paper towel holder, our little cookie cutters, the purple chef master because we are going to color our white chocolate purple, and of course your skewer sticks. Now we do have one special ingredient that we are going to use today. We have never used it before and it's going to be this easy thin this is supposedly gonna make your chocolate a little thinner because if you guys know my videos, we have used candy melts before and they're thick, right? So we have a harder time using them. So apparently this is supposed to thin it out so we will not have that chunky problem, right? So we are gonna try it. I will let you guys know if it does work because if it does, it is a total game changer. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 recommend tell a friend. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and melt all of our chocolate and we'll be right back. We went ahead and melted our chocolate and our candy melts. Now, we did use the Easy Thin off camera because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work. Well, it didn't work on the pink candy melt, but it did work on the yellow. If you can see, the pink is, it's not as runny as I want it to be. And this one is, look at that. Look at how it falls off nice and smooth. And the white, of course, we didn't use it. It does it on its own. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and change the white to purple. So we're going to get our chocolate food coloring or chocolate coloring. And I'm going to go ahead and put some in there. Ooh, so vibrant and pretty. On the first try, Miss Thang. <laughs> now let's start dipping. I'm not going to dip them all because I am going to leave some red ones just to give our little arrangement some color. You want to make sure that you get your chocolate all the way to the top. So I'm going to tilt it. We're gonna go ahead and start on our melon and our pineapple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the melon over here and I'm gonna work with the pineapple first. I'm gonna cut little circles out of it. And I'm gonna do a bunny. Look how cute he is. And we're gonna push him in here. I just wanna make sure I get the whole bunny cause he's a pretty big fella. Now we're gonna work on our melon. Now this one's gonna be a little bit harder because it does have seeds. So I'm gonna kind of do pieces of it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a skewer stick. So I'm just gonna put it right through as much as I possibly can. You don't want it to go all the way through. After you put your grapes and your fruit on your skewer sticks, you don't have to put the peeps, but I am. The kids don't like them, but I figured they'll eat them with the fruit, hopefully. And if not, we'll make s'mores out of them. So we're gonna get our little, um, flower pot and what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a ribbon I'm gonna decorate the bottom of it first get our heat gun and put a little bit of glue right at the edge make sure it's straight and I went ahead and I already made a little bow so I'm gonna put glue on that 
And then with our foams, I'm gonna use this one for the bottom of it. And then I'm gonna use one of the circles for the top of it. I'm gonna get our gnome and then I'm gonna super glue him to the paper towel holder. He's gonna look just like that. That would be cute just for like the table, right? Just yeah. to put on there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some pink grass. Juliet is going to get it, that's why it's painted, because she's my Vanna White. And I'm gonna put some in the bottom. We kind of just want it to be presentable. Then we're gonna put this right inside of there. You can glue him down if you want. I'm not gonna do that, just in case I need to use it for something else. But he's sturdy in there, he ain't going nowhere. And now we're gonna go ahead and start putting this edible together. Okay guys, so there you have it. I think it's pretty cool for my first edible arrangement. I did have a little bit of problems. I think I should have started from the back, like from the middle and then worked my way out. And I didn't do that. I started from the beginning or whatever from the front and I worked my way back and oh, it was a total disaster. But other than that, I think it came out cute. Well, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.